Welcome back to Educator.com. This is the Life Science course and today's lesson is on fish. Our three objectives for today will be what are the common characteristics that all fish share? Number two, how are the three classes of fish different from each other? And number three, explain how fish obtain food and oxygen and how they reproduce. So fish are a very diverse species of organism, organisms and they have a few common characteristics that all fish share. All fish are marine vertebrates. That means that they live in either fresh water or sea water. And they can live at varying levels, meaning you can have some water, that, some fish that live in shallow waters, and then you have fish that live in very deep water. Uh, it just depends on the species or the type of fish. So um, they all live in water, and they all have a special way that they can breathe. They breathe through an adaptation or a structure called gills. Um, and we'll talk more about what gills are, but they uh, help that fish to get oxygen in order to maintain life. All fish are what we call ectotherms. Ectotherms are cold-blooded animals, which basically means that they can't maintain their own temperature. It means that whatever their temperature of their environment is, it determines their own body temperature. So environment determines body temperature. Uh, fish also have something called scales, and scales are the outside uh, hard structure uh, that is used for protection from their predators. And also fish have what we call fins and a muscular tail, and these two structures help the fish to swim. And lastly, all fish reproduce sexually. Now some uh, fish have what we call internal fertilization. And that's when the male deposits its sperm into the female uh, fish. Uh, and then the female fish eggs are fertilized that way. And then some have external fertilization. And that means that the female actually deposits uh, thousands of eggs outside of her body. And then the male comes along and deposits its sperm uh, in the same area. And that's how the fish are fertilized. Um, in either way, the baby fish are hatched from these eggs, from the fertilized eggs. And here's a picture of fish eggs here. These are fertilized fish eggs. And then this is just various pictures of different types of fish. Okay, so let's talk about these fins. Fins are a structure that are similar to uh, the steering wheel in a car. It helps the fish to be able to determine the direction in which it wants to go. And fins are used for swimming, for turning, staying upright, for making sure that the fish maintains its balance. And uh, fins are located all around the fish bodies. They're located at the top of the fish. And the very top of the fish that's on the fish's back, this will be considered the fish's back, is called the dorsal fin. And if you've ever seen the movie like Jaws or you've ever seen uh, footage of a shark, sometimes you'll see the dorsal fin sticking out of the water. And uh, that's what that looks like here in this picture. And then you've also got something called the caudal fin. It's actually in the back by the uh, back tail of the fish. And you've got other fins such as the anal fin here, and you've got the pelvic fin, the pectoral fin. All of those fins have the same function. They help the fish to move through the water more efficiently. The next structure we'll talk about are the gills. The gills are the soft, feathery tissue uh, that helps the fish to breathe.
Now the fish contain several blood vessels and that's because the oxygen from the water is collected into those blood vessels and those blood vessels go throughout the body of the fish. Now the fish are located, the, excuse me, the gills are located on both sides of the fish's head. Similar to this picture here where you've got the gill here and you've got a gill here on both sides. And again, the gills are used for respiration or for breathing. What are the steps? Well, the fish first takes water into its mouth. And then the water passes through and over the gills. As that water passes over the gills, the oxygen is collected from the, into the gills and gas exchange occurs. What is gas exchange? It's when oxygen is exchanged with the carbon dioxide in the blood. So the carbon dioxide gas is actually a waste material that animals uh, want to get out of their body, but the oxygen is needed for all cells within the body to survive. So at the, as the oxygen goes over the gills, gas exchange occurs, and then the oxygen goes where it's needed in the rest of the fish's body. Here is a picture of the shark gills here. Um, obviously because the shark is such a large predator, uh, it needs very large gills in order to survive.